Hi everyone, this is Itza with Itza Thoughts and I'm here to share with you these little cards that I just finished. Uh, these little cards are for a swap for Follow the Paper Trail. This is a swap for ATC cards and I thought it would be a good idea to uh, make this little card light package to store the ATC cards. And um, this one in particular is for Melinda. So Melinda, I hope you like your your little package. And this one is for Glynis. And um, I really hope you you like the the little card here I put together for both of you. So uh, I'm gonna give you guys a little look as to how this uh, little card looks inside so let's have a look these little cards can stand by themselves um, like this like this okay so um all I did is get a basic regular paper bag from the supermarket um, I bought a packet of 50 for like three bucks so um, uh, this is the way the bag looks when it's opened and all I did was fold it in half and put designer paper on all ends. So this is the front with some lace, some bling, some little flowers there and this is a stick pin that comes out for her. This is the back. It's uh, I printed this little dress form on fabric, cut the fabric out, and uh, put some little uh, sparkle to it, and adhered it with some glue, and put it close to my label. Okay, so the inside has a little pouch where I am giving her a little note. Then this opens up like this. And it's a little stand and these are the little ATC cards that I made for her. The paper line that I used for the little card um, is the Mademoiselle paper line from die cuts with the view and let's have a look this is the first card the series is one of four so this is the first one and um, the name of it is Madame Belle and these are these lovely ladies dressed in red this is the back This is the second card. This is the back. And the technique I use for these cards is um basic it's just your standard ATC card size that I stamped and distressed and uh, embossed and then I just uh, uh, put some dimension with these flowers and the bling and I put some glitter in there this is the little packet so this is the flap the bottom of the bag this is the flap and I just attached um, another piece of paper here for the second pocket I put a velcro closing for her okay so this is the one for Melinda and let's have a look at a Glynis this is um, the seven gypsies paper line that I used and I love this little birdie with them um, these little eggs and just a bunch of beads and flowers with a lot of bling. This is the back. 
You see a little birdie there. The techniques I use for these cards is watercolor and stamping. So this is the inside. And I as well did a little card for her. A little message. And these are the little cards. The theme for hers is um, my interpretation of flora fauna. And again, this is a series of four. So this is the first card. The backgrounds have all been watercolored in. This is the back. This is the front. This is the third one. And that is the fourth. This is what her package looks like. And again, this is the flap of the paper bag, the bottom part. And instead of paper, I used a little lace because the flowers make these little cards very bulky. <laughs> well guys, there you have it. Um, so far, this is all I've made. I still have to make a few more for the rest of the group. And as I make, I will be posting videos to give you guys a look at what these ATC cards look like. Well, thank you guys for watching and I'll be back. Bye.